Wimps didn't build California. People with grit and dreams did. Visionaries who said, to hell with the skeptics, and staked their claim to the future. We showed the world how to do the impossible. If we lose this spirit, we lose California. High-speed rail captures that imagination that we call the Golden State. We invest in California. We don't divest. We can't accommodate all of our growth with just new freeways and new airports. That's why high-speed rail is such a great asset for California. We know that this is our project for our generation, and it's time that uh, California got some 21st century transportation. An investment in high-speed rail, especially in this kind of transportation infrastructure, is critical for our uh, future, and the economy really depends upon it. California's high-speed rail will create tens of thousands of good-paying jobs, reduce our dependence on fossil fuels, and cut greenhouse gas emissions by 3.5 million tons annually. We know that there's an economic and environmental benefit that high-speed rail can bring. You're talking about thousands of construction workers, and then you're talking about thousands of permanent people when the job is completed. We're gonna be a better place. Californians are gonna be able to, to breathe easier, uh, to live better lives, to transport themselves with ease, we're going to be able to truly be living in the future. This sort of investment pays for itself a tenfold over a very short period of time. High-speed rail is one of the most important infrastructure investments we can make this century. A sleek new system that will ease freeway and airport congestion, reduce air pollution, and drive new economic growth. Why not the innovation of great new technology that comes with a high-speed rail system. That's the kind of spirit we need in California today. We need not only that spirit and vision, but we need to make it real. And we have the leadership in place today to make that happen with this project. This is a wise investment. Those who believe that California is in decline will naturally shrink back. I understand that feeling, but I don't share it. Because I know this state and the spirit of the people who chose to live here. We built California by doing what others said couldn't be done, by embracing the future, to turn dreams into something real. We're not stopping now.